Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to a brand new set of tools that I have created to help us manage the hotspot. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Before we jump into the video, I've got to give a shout out to these four guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So ever since I introduced the script that would install the hotspot, I have gotten uh, constant questions from that uh, over email and uh, people wanting to know how do they change their hotspot name, how do they check their password, how do they know what their IP is, uh, all kinds of various questions. So I decided to sit down and write a script that would give us a set of tools to manage the hotspot. Now what you see right up at the top here, let's look at uh, this information up here first under the hotspot parameters. The first thing here tells us whether the hotspot is enabled or disabled. If it's enabled, then it's able to create the hotspot. If you set this to disabled, then it's like the hotspot is not on the system at all and it will never create a hotspot. Now the next item down is the state, uh, the current state of the hotspot. Currently mine is active. And if we look right up here in the top right corner, you'll see that I have no wireless interfaces found. Uh, so that also is another indicator that the hotspot is currently active. Uh, the next item down on the list is the SSID, and this just tells us when the SSID is active, or the hotspot is active, that this is the name that we would use to connect to from our other wireless device. The next item down is the uh, password for the hotspot uh, that we would use when we clicked on the SSID right here. And then this is the IP address of the hotspot, and that's helpful because after you've connected and you go over to VNC and you're ready to make a VNC connection, that's the IP address that you would use. So it gives you a lot of information right up there at the top uh, to tell you what's going on with your hotspot currently. Now we've got several options underneath that. So we can change the name or the password. So if we choose change the name, uh, it would be changing this SSID name here. Uh, and then obviously the password is the password here that we would want to change. Option two is run the hotspot. Now what this does is every time you run the hotspot, it's going to check to see if it can see any known SSIDs. If it does see a known SSID, then it's going to connect to it. If uh, it doesn't see a known SSID, then it's going to generate the hotspot. Option three here is to disable the hotspot completely. So if we run that and then reboot, it will be like the hotspot script is not on our system at all and your wireless uh, portion of your Raspberry Pi will function as normal. Now, if you have disabled that and you wanted to re-enable it later, you could run option four. And these here, uh, so if you run option three, right up here at the top, you would see disabled. And then of course, if you run option four again, you would see enabled right up here at the top, just like mine is currently. Now let's talk about option five here. This is still very experimental and I highly recommend that you back up your Pi before you go uh, trying to use this section of the script. Some people have reported that they can't get an internet connection if they plug a Cat5 cable into their Pi uh, that's connected to their home router and then they attach something to the hotspot. Uh, and I'm not a networking guy, uh, so I'm, I'm not real sure what's going on with that. I'm thinking maybe sometimes it's because the IP address is not uh, correct. So if you use Manage IP, what it'll do is it'll allow you to choose uh, the first two numbers here of the IP address. 
Uh, and we may make some changes to that if some other guys chime in, maybe in the comments, and let me know that there's a better way to do that. Uh, we may make some changes to that going forward. So that is still very experimental. The next option down is option six, to manage the SSIDs. Now this is just to manage the SSIDs that the Pi knows about. So let's go ahead and choose option six here real quick. And you'll see that we can remove a Wi-Fi or add a Wi-Fi uh, SSID that the Pi knows about. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of that instead of uh, adding or subtracting right now. Let's run option seven. And this will give us a list of the current SSIDs that the Pi knows about. So the only one I plugged in to this particular Pi is MyShack Wi-Fi. Now this is just a dummy um, SSID. This actually does not exist because I wanted the Pi to be running in hotspot mode this morning. So, but this, this section here will give you a list of currently known SSIDs. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, add another SSID. So I'm gonna press option six, and then I'm gonna use option two to add a Wi-Fi. And it's gonna scan and tell me what Wi-Fi's are available to connect to. Now guys, this is case sensitive when you do it. Uh, so make sure you get the case of these right. Uh, but I, we'll go ahead and connect to my KM4ACK-891. And then it's gonna ask me for the password. I'll enter the password there, press return, and it's gonna ask me, is this information correct? If I choose yes, then it will go ahead and attempt to connect to that new hotspot. And you can see here that it does say that it has shut down the hotspot and that it's checking the Wi-Fi is okay. Now this check that the script does takes about 20 seconds or so. So uh, it will kind of hang at this screen uh, for just a, just a few seconds or so here. But if you look right up here in the top right corner of the Raspberry Pi, you'll see that my Wi-Fi is active and it's connected to the KM4 ACK-891. Now, if we take a look at the known SSIDs again, you'll see that that one is in there along with the dummy that I included earlier. So it's a little bit of an easier way to add and subtract known SSIDs uh, to your Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's a whole lot easier, especially than going in and trying to mod the WPA supplicant file uh, with the nano editor. Now, option eight is a DHCP list. Now, currently mine is going to be empty because I don't have anything attached to this Raspberry Pi. Uh, but if it was in hotspot mode and I had a wireless device connected to the Pi, uh, I could look right here and see what its uh, DHCP assignment is. So I'm going to choose no, I don't want to flush the IP addresses here. And it'll return us right back out to the main screen. Uh, option nine is to update. So as I make changes to this script and I push them out to the server, you can choose option nine and run an update. So if we choose that now, you'll see it'll just go through uh, doing the check and then it'll say press any key to continue. Now, one thing, if there are new uh, updates that come out, you do need to restart the hotspot script uh, or the hotspot tool script rather in order to see their, those changes. I know there's no changes currently uh, with this one, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then option 10 would just be to exit out of the application. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that now. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we get the hotspot tools installed. I've opened up a terminal and I am in my home directory. If you uh, don't know if you're in your home directory or not, we can just press CD space and return and that'll make certain that we're in our home directory. Now let's head over to the GitHub site and I'll leave a link to this page down in the description below. But once you get to the uh, GitHub site, you wanna come over here and click on Hotspot Tools. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click right here uh, where it says Clone or Download, and we want to copy this address. So I'll uh, highlight all of it and go ahead and copy that. Back on the Pi, we want to run the Git Clone 
command. So git space clone space and then we're going to right click and paste in that link that we just copied. That'll go ahead and clone it into the directory we need. Let's clear that screen again. And now we need to move into the hotspot hyphen tools directory. So we'll do that with a CD command and we'll go ahead and press return. And now we just need to run bash space setup and we'll press return one more time and that's it. It'll be done. Now currently it is putting a shortcut on the desktop. Let me get this terminal window closed. Currently it is putting this uh, shortcut on the desktop. We may remove this feature uh, in the future and I'll show you guys why in a second but if we double click this for the time being we can choose execute in terminal and that will go ahead and open up the hotspot tools. Now I'm just going to exit out of that. It will also put that right up here in your main Pi window. It will be under uh, the internet section or if you have the ham radio section installed, it will also be under the ham radio section. Now I mentioned that we were going to remove, uh, probably remove this link on the desktop. Really the better way to do this is to come up to your link uh, in your main menu, right click and just say add to desktop if you want that shortcut on the desktop. And the nice thing about this is now if we double click this one, it doesn't ask us how we want to execute it. It just goes ahead and opens it up in the terminal ready for us to work with. All right, guys, I hope uh, you enjoy this new set of tools. I hope it helps make life a bit easier. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. And we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.